Hey everyone, how's it going? We are back at it again. As you can tell, we're in the same clothes as last time, so I'm recording two in one day here. Um, back at it with our Maple Leafs playthrough, which used to be our Jets playthrough. So we are in the month of January. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only ten games, which isn't too bad. So we had a game every three days. Still a 12th in the standings, but only a point back of the Panthers, which isn't bad. And our roster is starting to get... Um, a little bit healthier than it was last month, which is definitely good. So, let's get into it here. I'm going to take a look at, um, um, let me look here. Is this, uh, oops, I didn't mean to reset. Look at available players here. Josh Harding, interesting. Nikita Nikitin. Hmm. Yeah, nothing too crazy out here on the uh, available for trade. Let's get him real quick. Danny Breer. Hasn't had the best year at the Jets, but oh well. Can't win them all. Jeff Schultz, Kyle Chipcher, Bordalo. Okay. That was it. Just taking a quick look at who's out there. Brad Ross, 200 career AHL games. Oh, that's pretty interesting. It's a lot of AHL. Second round pick, too. Oh, five, six years ago now. All right, we play the Oilers next game. Todd Nelson prefers them to play offensive. Kale Clog. We'll scout this guy again. Merrick Napier. All right, take a look. No harm in that. We have uh, plenty of scouts. I think we have like 15 scouts, so. Sign Nick Betts. All right, we got the Oilers, who are a similar stature team to us here. Take a look at Morgan Riley. Oh, he's uh, cool. I'll take him off IR. Rather send someone down, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah. Means you gotta send one of these guys down here. Cozen has an option. You look at who else has an option on here. Uh, not junior rates. So Erickson, Cozen, McKeg. I'm gonna say it's gonna be McKeg. I don't know why if he has a two-way contract, we would have to send him down. Let me look at him. He's probably gonna get claimed. All right, it's gonna be cozen then. All right, so let's take a look. Actually, I need to make sure we have all the right guys, not scratched. All right. So one definitely want Riley playing soon. We're gonna scratch. Let's look at our selection here. Erickson's been better. 
Alexiak's been kind of tired. Not terrible, not great, so he's going to be the one getting the scratch. You definitely want Hemschke Ponic to play, so Holland and. Hmm. Um, Tom Pyatt. Alright, there we go. Wait, no. We don't need to scratch two, we only need to scratch one. Okay. So we'll clear our lines, take a look here. Van Reems, like Bozak, Kessel, Marshan, Kadri, Hemschke, Drazenovich, Zizekas, Horton. Lindstrom, Pyatt, Panic. Alright, that's cool. Riley Finuff, Barbara Gardner, Percy Erickson. Okay. That seems good. Alright, let's get into it here. Alright, 5 4. Nice. Good win. Not uh, dominating by any means, but we take those. Horton, Barbera, Marshawn, Kessel, Van Reems. A lot of Kessel points in this game. A little shorthanded for Marshawn. Nice. Very nice. Now we have Kadri locked up through 2018, which I'm definitely happy about. He's a good second line center. Alright, gotta send our scouts. I have two that aren't signed. I'm gonna send a couple guys to scout college. Why not? CCHA, okay. Alright. We'll see what they come back with. Tobias Reader. Tobias, sorry. 60 goals and 60 assists. It's insane. Alright. I'm going to take a look at our schedule and kind of piece together who we're actually playing because I looked quickly. So the Ducks are good, the Rangers, Lightning, pretty good. We get to play the Jets, which I'm pumped about. Blues, Preds, Bruins, Panthers. This is going to be a tough month for sure. Yeah, wow, the Rangers are really good. Tampa's pretty good. Blues aren't great. Preds aren't great. Oh, wait. Yeah. Bruins are all right. Panthers are kind of similar to us. And Hurricanes are definitely better than us, so oh well. Time again. Hmm. Nah. It's just not going to happen. That's way too much. All right. Okay. All right, let's see what we can get against the Ducks. 5-2, very nice. It's a good team, too. I think our players are definitely starting to gel here. Two Castle goals from Finniff, Van Riemsdijk from Van Riemsdijk and Riley. Bozak from Castle. Castle, sorry. Very nice.
700 NHL games for Kessel. Wow. Well, I'm just taking a look at this real quick here. JP Hall. Yeah, I'm definitely happy about this contract here. He seems to be a pretty damn good player. And we don't have to pick get any we don't have to trade anything to get him, we can just sign him and if Risk him so worse, we can always get rid of him, so. Seems to have good, pretty good stats. Been doing well in the uh, German League. So. Good to see. Like Maxime Talbot, interesting. Canada U20s, man, they're damn good. Just rolling. Michael's been definitely having a pretty good season in juniors. Okay. Gunner Crane. A little bit of a uh, layoff in between games here. Andre Burakovsky. Three for Joffrey Lippel. That's interesting. That's not a whole lot of a return for him. So we play the Rangers now. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to roll the same guys. Alright. Let's see what the Rangers got here. Three to one loss, yeah, not not uh, unexpected. It's a damn good team.
Good to see we're getting a lot of uh, scouting reports coming across our desk. Gustav Nyquist, wow, a lot of points. Yeah, the Jets are not in a good spot right now. They've been losing a lot recently. How's Odell doing? Yeah, he's doing all right. Be interesting to see who they let go in the offseason. Probably end up taking some of those guys with me here at some point. Play the Lightning next. TJ Brennan. Wow, Brennan goes with absolutely lighting up the AHL. All right. Another tough game here. Scratch Piet and play Holland. I'm going to move Drusenovich up to the third line. All right. Let's do this. Didn't show our score in that ticker. Nice. 3 1. We've had Tampa's number. Two from Kessel, one from Van Riefsek. Very nice. Kessel's killing it this season. Same with Van Reems, like I feel like they're just putting up almost all of our points. Tim Kennedy. Mike Weber. I'll pass on him. Don't think he'll help our team out very much. I'm going to look at our Marley's roster and see um, who, uh, whose contracts are up. Just making sure that these are two-way contracts for these guys that we're signing here. Definitely want to re-sign TJ Brennan. Sam Carrick. Yeah, not looking great for him. Petter Granberg. See what he wants. Oops, shit. Uh, TJ Brennan, yeah, he needs the same one. He needs a two way. Because those guys probably aren't going to be competing for a spot right away. Josh Lane. Nah, that's way too much money. Okay. That was our uh, going through our AHL talent pool real quick. Because I don't want to just be losing those guys. Hmm. 
All right. All right, this is a big game here. We play Winnipeg. I really would like to win this game very much. All right. Everything looks good here. All right. Let's get into it. All right, take that, Winnipeg. Take that. And look at that. Two from Castle Marsh and Barbero. Very nice. Army is scored, though. Oh, man. Definitely want that guy. If he goes to free agency. We'll see. Phil Castle, best offensive player of the week. Nice. Wow, Brandon Cozen's killing it in the NHL. Zach Wierenski, I think he's a, yeah, he's a high pick. I don't remember that much. All right. Play the blues next. Just see if they want for Brandon Gorman. I remember he was a, like a pretty high pick. I want to say definitely first round, maybe top ten, top fifteen. Alright, play the Blues, very similar team to us. Um, Alright. Those lines look good to me. Alright. St. Louis Blues. Alright, 3 2. First game on the. Uh, on the slate that flashes by, I'm not mad at that. Especially with the 3-2 win. Wow, Pyatt from Percy and Van Reemstake. Poor and unassisted Martian from Pyatt. Nice. Very nice. It's a team we should definitely beat. They acquire both the races, Fen Barshi. Eastern Europe. All right, All Star game coming up soon. Mark DeCanch is the guy that I traded for Alec Martinez. It's been all right, not terrible, but not great. Be interesting to see who ends up on the All Star team from us because I definitely think we have um, some good stuff here. That's an absurd, absurd amount of things for one guy. It's insane. I feel like whenever I 
send out an inquiry. They just think that's open season and just throw everyone that's like worth anything and who's young into a deal. <laughs> Keep recommending Elias Samsonov. Thomas Grace. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Just want too much for those guys, unfortunately. Let's see if I can trade for Winnipeg's first. <laughs> they're really out of it, and I don't think they're going to get any better. Hmm. Who can I give them as a little bit of value? I'll just offer that anyways, see what they do. Alright, we get the Preds. Pretty good team. Um, scratch Alessiak. Anyone else needs to be scratched? Yeah, Holland, definitely. Alright. I like those lines. Very nice. All right. Damn, 5 4. We got a point in overtime. It's a tough one. Tough loss. Oh, well. Oh, no. Fan Reeves, I got for 10 days. Got to put him on IR. Get someone up here. Gonna be cozen. Okay, that works for me. He's tearing up in the AHL. Shell and Brook Bank. Alright, that's fine. Just throwing it out there about a first round pick. Because that's, I would, if I had to bet, I'd bet that's going to be the number one pick. That Canucks. But, oh well.
All right. Tanner Fuse. All right, flying through this month right now. This guy's absolutely killing it. Josh Levo. Might be worth taking a look at him at the end of the season. Oh, he signed up to Earth too. Very nice. Tim Kennedy. No, thank you. Should have a game coming up here. Yeah, we got we got three at the end of the month. Okay. Phil Castle. Very nice. Not unexpected either. All right. Got the Bruins next. Tanner Glass. All right, let's see here. All right. Hmm. Can Horton play left wing? No, he can't. Alright, can Cozen play left wing? Nope. Hmm. What am I just gonna have to? Alright. A little bit sloppy, but I'll have to do it for now. Ah, it's a bad loss. Bruins are good, they're not that great. But. Oh well. Yeah, they were right above us in the standings too. Two goals in the third. Oh well. Kessel out about a week too. Mm -hmm. That's not good. That is not good. Because I think we yeah we still got two more games at the end of this month so we'll see. All right, get the Panthers who are directly behind us here.
a little bit of a patchwork lineup, but there's not much we can do. Three nothing lost too. That's what happens when we don't have Kessel and Van Music. Don't have a real score. That one hurt. That one hurt. Now we're twelfth in the standings, jeez. Still got the hurricanes, so. alright. All right, get Van Riemsdyk back. Very nice. Got to send someone down, though. It's got to be Cozen, just because he has his option. All right. It's an insane contract for Brooks Orbic. Jim Slater. Alright, coming up on our last game of the month here. I might even just play Kessel even though he's kind of hurt a little bit. One more game. Yeah, Castle's gonna play. All right. Let's see what the Hurricanes got. Gotta wait long. The long game on this one. Wow, the Sabres are really bad this year. I think they've gone through like three GMs already. Five four and over in a shootout. Very nice. Van Reems like Bozak. Fenuff, Fenuff. Ooh, two Fenuff on the power play. Within 20 seconds of each other. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, Van Riemsdyk's having a hell of a season, too. I don't know why he didn't make the All-Star team. But let's get this into February real quick and go over everything. Zach Wierenski. Okay. Wow. Orpic getting claimed off waivers. That's interesting. It's a huge contract, but I guess Buffalo can probably afford it if anyone can. Alright, first of the month. Damn, Trevor Van Hoops like signing that two year deal. Yeah. He's been good. Knew he'd be a good get. Phil Castle play of the month, nice. Brandon Coe's an AHL play of the month. Alright. Take a look at the standings here. We're within striking just in the eighth spot. It's Definitely, it won't be easy, but we're not out of it by any means. 50 points is not bad compared to where we were at the end of November. Uh, let's go look at our player stats real quick. Kessel's still in the top five of scores. And then Van Riemsdyk with 54 right behind him. Bozak, 33. Finneff, a lot of assists. Marshan's been pretty good. 
take a look at the plus minus fan rates like Kessel Marsh and Nylander plus three and seven games, not bad. Um, look at assists, Faneuf, Bozak, Kadri with 17, starting to come along well. Um, we'll take a look at just what we did last month. Uh, we had one, two, three, four, five, six wins, which isn't bad out of ten games. That's over 500, and we'll definitely take that. I'm not not mad at that at all. So that's going to do it for the uh, month of February. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Until next time.